And that's where we begin tonight as the education debate heats up amid the coronavirus pandemic. Good evening, everyone. I'm Chris Gutierrez. Thank you for joining us. I'm Christine Noel in for Dominique. We have live team coverage tonight, and we begin with Channel 2's Sophia Ojeda live at the Clear Creek ISD Education Support Center in League City, where parents are holding a protest. Sophia? That's right, Christine. Parents say that they do not want school officials to change the back to school date. Once again, they're out here protesting what school officials are doing. They say they're pushing the date back again and again. Right now, the school is set to begin September 14th. They want their kids back in school on September 8th. Other parents disagree with them. It's affecting their mental health. It's teaching them not to trust the adults who are supposed to be looking out for their best interests. Parent Christine Parizzo says she organized this protest outside of Clear Creek ISD board's workshop to pressure school officials. Her, along with several other parents, want their kids back to in-person learning on September 8th and not any later. The parents who have to work outside the home or the children who just aren't safe right now, this is affecting them in ways that we can't even imagine. Yes. If there is something that happens, then yes, we as parents are compassionate. We understand. But for those students that are ready to be back in brick and mortar, let them be back. A spokesperson for Clear Creek ISD tells Channel 2 they are following, quote, valuable input from the medical field and will be phasing select students back beginning August 31st with all students back to in-person learning September 14th. Parent Ruth Meyer supports the school district's decision and says during this ever-changing pandemic, back to school should be done in phases. We have a better chance of the kids going to school and staying in school as opposed to doing everything too quickly and then maybe having to send them all home for three or four weeks. And Clear Creek ISD sent us this statement. It reads in part, quote, we do feel the longer schools are closed, the more distant children become from the school experiences that bring them joy. The extension of the first group of students to two weeks is understandably creating a hardship for families. And for that, we do apologize. The decisions are made with the health and well-being of all in mind. Again, Clear Creek ISD will begin phasing students back beginning August 31st with all students back to in-person learning on September 14th. Reporting live in League City, Sophia Ojeda, KPRC Channel 2 News. Sophia, thank you.